Freestyle on top of the dome. Hold up. How can I trust game when he Jimmy protege? Type of the stab you in the back, bite the hand and feed. Drink champs and conversate with liars all day. Time pass. Nah, let me start somewhere else. You disrespect Dre, the hate for MB coming from clowns, I guess. Loser cold cases got you dissing for sales. You stress, curse, worse, no, <laughs> Dang, why the hell you be acting like we weren't living in 05, 04, 06, 07? We remember you? You ain't nobody special? No. You the same old Jason Taylor. Same old 100 miles, 200 miles, 300 miles, and running type nigga. Yeah, we don't care about none of that shit you talking about. That's crazy how you be coming up with them 50 cent stories. You need to be a writer. You need to start writing for movies and stuff like that. Yeah, stop rapping. Yeah, that's crazy how you be making lies on Jimmy Iovine, Dr. Dre, Eminem. Game, the type of nigga that you is, you would have been came out and said that, duh. You can't hold water when it come to 50 cent. Game, the type of nigga that you is, you would have been came out and said that. You can't hold water when it come to 50 cent. You know you need 50 cent to survive. You ain't no better than Murder, Inc. They always got to bring up 50. Or whoever interviewing them got to. Same thing with you. They always got to bring up 50. Well, not that with you. You going to bring it up. Yeah, with you. You going to bring up Interscope, Eminem, Dr. Dre, 50 Cent. That's the highlight of your career, game, 50 Cent. And when you going to realize, when you going to believe nothing you say when it come to that deal? Dang, we still remember when 50 Cent used to get paid when you used to say G U not. He ain't paid you no million dollars. You would have been said that deal when he said he trademarked G U not. So that would have been your comeback for that. So what made you hold your tongue? The million dollars? Game, stop the cap. When you blew that money, which you never got, you would have been said that deal and came out. Because ain't like you said, it was in the contract for me not to say nothing for five years, three years. So if they would have paid you a million dollars, wouldn't they would have put it in the contract for you never to speak on it ever? Or they'll sue you for the same million dollars? That's common sense game. I know what it is, though. You figured out that 50 Cent, he ain't gonna never work with me. He ain't gonna never do no verses. He ain't gonna never be cool. He ain't gonna never do no song. So shh. Let me call like 100. Hey, wait, this nigga 50 ain't gonna never rock with me or do no business, no song, no verses, no nothing. Hell no, nah, blood. He ain't rocking with you now. Nah. I might as well go ahead and diss him for the new album. Fuck it. Go ahead and burn that bridge again. Him, Eminem, Dr. Dre, F them all. Shit, get back on my 07 shit, my 08 shit. 300 miles of running. Cause shit, I ain't got no other hype behind the album. The bloggers or nobody won't talk about me unless I'm talking about Kim K or Ray J or 50 or M or Dre. I can't talk about the case, cause that's gonna work against me. So shit, man, F them niggas, man. Shit, same old shit. Get back to my old self, Hurricane Gang. Yeah, give me some Hurricane, put my Hurricanes back on. Yeah, go put them Hurricanes back on blood. G, you not do my F50 Cent campaign again. Yeah, I destroyed everything. The clothing line, everything. The brain, the label, everything. It was cause of me. Damn, that was the main reason why 50 ain't never dissed you like that. Cause he was still getting paid from you. You was still signed to the label. And he had trademarked GU9. That's what that was. He told Banks, Shea, Yo, Buck, Spider Low, all them niggas to fall back. Ho, oh, this man still bringing in millions of dollars, even though he's saying GU9. That's why you stopped saying GU9. Because he got trademarked and you was going to get sued if you kept saying it. That's why. That's the truth. See, Jimmy Hitchman game, that's who fucked your whole career up. You could have been a $100 million nigga right now, sitting next to 50, Eminem, whoever. Whoever. You know how rich you'll be? You would have never listened to Jimmy Hitchman. <laughs> but how couldn't you? You a follower. You was a follower back then. You appeared like you was a king and a leader, but you was a follower. You listened to everything Jimmy Hitchman ever said because he was jealous of Chris Lighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably was too. Yeah, you probably was too. You was mad because you went on Violator. Jimmy Hitchman, he'll never be Chris Lighty or have a label like Violator or had an artist under his label like Violator. Please, man. He thought he was going to make a new violator with you. He thought you was going to be bigger than 50 Cent. Game, you ain't never even get bigger than a documentary. Yeah, and that's half of your album. The same nigga that took Snoop off a of West Side Story and put 50 Cent on it. Because 50 Cent a sell mode. You went against your own kind for 50 for a New York nigga. It was so much 50 vocals on your album, they had to switch out some shit. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Come on, man. Game, you the same old dog with the same old tricks. We done heard it all before, Mr. Sunshine Anderson, Mr. Potato Head. You need to try some different game. Going at 50 Cent, it ain't going to work. Nobody in their right mind would never say you a better artist than 50 Cent. Now, 
bar for bar, you know, you could be there. But an artist, hook, song, bridge, records, hit records, no. Game is nobody from the Midwest, up north, down south, or rather listen to the documentary or the doctor's advocate. Or your mixtapes, or dramatic, or your disc records, over, give it should I try, Bed for mercy, 50 Cent is the future, all the OG and the mixtapes. Nobody will never say that. You ain't got them type of records. And the records that everybody like from you that we play in the clubs or in the car is how we do featuring 50. Hate it or love it. Featuring 50. Rest of your songs, you can keep them shits. Dreams and wouldn't get far. That's it. Maybe. You talking about Eminem. We don't play your songs in the club game. Not down south. If we do, it's featuring 50 Cent. Or you in the club. Yeah, we'd be fake for a little bit, a couple hours, because we paid you to come, or you just popped up, and you can bring a crowd, a little crowd. Yeah, we'd be fake a little bit. Yeah, we ain't playing no game songs. We ain't playing no Eminem, you right. We ain't listen to no Eminem in no club, because he don't make club music for us. So we can't play it. It's going to kill a mood. It's a lot of artists that we rock with that they don't play in the club, and you one of them. Unless it's how we do, <laughs> or hate it or love it. And it's a New York DJ playing that though. Yeah, it's a New York DJ that came down south in our clubs, and that's why he playing them songs. That's the truth. Other than that, you in the same boat with Eminem. But with that, just with that, in real life, you ain't in no same boat with no Eminem. Anybody would rather have Eminem fans than the fans that they got. He got the best fans. Don't you see he in every rap category, no matter if he dropping or not dropping? So anybody I want that. And another lie that you told Game, talking about you destroyed G in the clothing, G in the brand, G in the records, Game. The only reason why we stopped wearing this shit because it played out. That's it. Just like True Religion. Jim Jones, he lied, talking about uh, they ain't do the deal with him, True Religion. That's why we stopped wearing it. Cap, it just played out. G in the clothing, Rockwell, Sean John, it all played out. That's it. Not because a rapper dissed them or he said this and she said that. Nah, we just stopped wearing it. It played out, just like you, your music. It played out. That's it. But the difference between you and 50 is he an entrepreneur. You just a rapper, a clout chaser. But we love Phil for different things. You, just one thing, a rapper. That's it. Your movies, nope. TV shows, nope. You just talking on interviews, nope. Nothing else. Yeah, yeah. So you may, since you like to talk and put names and everything, do a podcast. Why you not doing a podcast? You can't do no TV show. Oh, you're going to get another case. Podcast or start ghostwriting for new artists on the West Coast. That's what you need to do. Be ghostwriting. Writing songs. Because you're a good storyteller. Look at the story you just told. Million Dollar G, not story. 